welcome along. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about something it's a little bit serious. Um, because I, I I think I mentioned it, it's no big deal, but like most of the nation, in December I got COVID. And I was absolutely fine, yeah. Absolutely fine. And then a couple of weeks afterwards, I got a cough and it won't go. Now, what are we in here? What date is it today? Well, whatever, it's the end of February. It's somewhere at the end of February and I still have this cough and it's not a little cough. It's quite a vicious cough. And I've been blaming COVID the whole time. But I've not long lived in this house. So it got me thinking. I wonder if it could be the house and this is a really old house there is 100% damp in here even though there's been a damp proof course well there's been two apparently so even though those things have happened there is still damp in here it's on a main road you can feel the house rattle oof look at that zone oh hi um, you can feel the house rattle when big lorries go past as I said I live off a motorway so you know, it does, it does come with its disadvantages having this house in the country. Well, it is in the country, even though I'm right on the main road. Um, so it got me thinking that this cough could actually be... Oh, this top's not sitting right. It could actually be the house and not the COVID. So, so... It got me thinking about air purifiers because they're a big thing now and I had never even considered buying an air purifier because I was fine, I was quite healthy, there was nothing wrong with me, even though I've got dogs and they help with like pet dander and mould and smoke and the dust, everything, it helps with everything so, but because I was never sick before it just never occurred to me but obviously now that's something I've been thinking about so we did some research and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, as usual, look at this cup. This is what my best friend bought me. I don't know how many minutes I am in. I think I can swear it says I'm fucking radiant. And I am. Can't you tell? So anyway, go and get your beverage of choice. Today I'm still on the Nespresso Holiday Edition pods. Oh, that's so nice. I'm dreading when they stop. They've already stopped my favourite one and I can't remember what it's called. So now I'm on the almond ones, but go and get your beverage of choice. Just so you know, I'm still on the water. That'll be my interval drink. Um, and let's get into this video, eh? Okay, so like I said, I've been starting to wonder whether it could be this house that's making me ill. Because it's definitely a lung issue that's going on. And when you think about what's going on in my environment in particular, I live off a main road, so there's going to be pollutants from that. I have dogs in the house, so, you know, pet dander, which I actually don't know what pet dander is, but it comes off them and it hurts your lungs. So I think it's just pet, like, scuzz, you know, bits. <laughs> like how we just shed skin and stuff. I think it's that kind of thing. Maybe I should have looked into that first. Um, smoke, not that I have anyone who smokes in here, but I guess I know a lot of people who do smoke, so maybe it's in the air. I don't know. I make people, if people come to my house that smoke, I make them go outside, but I guess it's still on them when they come in. Um, damp, is it damp? Mold, um, general dust, just so much, so much, and I think one of the things is, you know, the pandemic came around and people started being interested, much more interested in the health and the air quality and, you know, how to, how to purify that, how to clean that because you've got people coming into your house and you don't know, you know, you don't know where they've been, basically. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can in terms of the pandemic, I think that's what happened and why there's been such a sharp rise in the popularity of an air purifier. So then that got us away of just take the pandemic away, all the things we're breathing in and how, you know, especially if you've got little ones in the house, if you, even if you don't have pets and you've got little ones in the house, it's really, 
it, it couldn't hurt, it would really help them. But if you put a pet in the mix as well, I mean, I just think you should. I just think you should. I, like, I didn't know I've got my grandson staying here, and I didn't know. I've got one on order now, but I'm going to talk about it in a minute. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to give too much away, but that's how strongly I suddenly felt about it because I didn't know. And I think that's one of the problems. There are so many factors that go into purchasing an air purifier, everything from its capabilities, which I'll go through, to the size of your room um, and the location, everything. There's so much that goes into choosing it. And that's why putting this guide together has really helped people in a big way because you would just go for a brand that you know otherwise um and that's not always the case when it comes to air purifiers because it's what it can do so enough waffling let's talk about what you are looking for in an air purifier so the first thing to consider when you're purchasing an air purifier is the size of the room because the size of the room will determine the size of the air purifier you need Next, the thing you need to check for is HEPA filtration. HEPA filtration stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air, HEPA. This means that the air purifier can help reduce the levels of indoor pollutants, such as the VOCs from paints and stuff, and also things like tobacco smoke. The next thing to check is the ACH, which is Air Changes Per Hour. If you're looking on an air purifier and you're interested in it, if the AHC isn't listed or it's below three, don't get it. It's just not worth it. If you have a condition like asthma or you have any allergies, consider an AHC of around five to eight or more. Next, check the CADR, which is, which is the clean air delivery rate. The clean air delivery rate is about two thirds of a square footage of the room that the air purifier is in. So for example, if the room you're in is around 300 square feet, you will need a clean air delivery rate of around 200. So let's talk about air purifiers that we love. One of the most obvious brands would be Dyson. So this Dyson Cool Air Purifier and Fan is £499.99 from... John Lewis. Then we have the, I think it's Koei, it could be Koei air purifier, which is £458.18 from Amazon. Then we have air purifier 4 by Shark, that is £210. And then we have the Blue Air Blue purifier, again from John Lewis, £159. That's the one I went for. And the reason I went for it is because it's really obvious with the colours. Oh, here's again um, it's really obvious and you can personalize it quite a bit I just really it was the one that spoke to me the most I have quite a large living room as well so this is where I'm going to try it out because the damp is invisible in this room and I can't wait to do a video later on to tell you how I got on I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that over on Instagram or I'll do another um, video on it we'll just see how it transpires Next, there are smart, that sun is becoming a bit much, isn't it? Next, there are smart air purifiers that you can get that work with your phone, that keep you updated as to the levels that are going on and should you be concerned and should you turn it on, should you turn it off, is it perfect? So here are some of our favourites, again, Dyson. The Dyson Purifier Hot and Cool, um, £599 in John Lewis, again, it's Dyson so you know it's great. Philips Series 3000i, again from Amazon, which is £450. And then this AEG, lots of letters and numbers. Oh, where's the postman? He doesn't care, didn't even look. The AEG, lots of letters and numbers. I'm gonna link it below so you can see which one I'm talking about. It's £299.99 and pence from John Lewis. The Leviat Smart Air, Smart Air Purifier. £219.99 again from Amazon. These are smart, um, these are smart purifiers so you can match these up to your phone. And I would have gone for the smart one, I normally do, but I want to see how an air purifier fits in here first before I invest in, you know, something a bit more pricey. So like I said before, I will keep you updated as to the one I've purchased. I think it's coming tomorrow. So I'll let you know, I'm really hopeful because this cough that I have, it's just getting beyond, it's too much, it's interfering with life now. But 
of me and it is. I was on FaceTime to my friend this morning. I took a swig of water and then the cough came and well, it was a good job she was behind the, the screen of the phone, otherwise she'd have been swilled. <laughs> and I also just think, you know, um, I've got my grandson here and one is on its way very, very soon. <laughs> Any day now, we keep thinking is the day. Um, and you just want to make sure that everything is as pure and you know, toxin free as possible. And I think this is a really good way to do that. But I will keep you posted on that one. If you want more information, we have done a blog on this, which I will link below. Um, or you can just go to www.nookandfine.com where we have lots of information about anything, home interiors, home design, home decor, anything you want, check it out. Um, other than that, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.